we're going to be pulling this one in, give it a pre-wash so that we can kind of clean it up a little. As you can see, it's a little dirty. So we're going to have a little fun. It's dirty. All right, we got her all washed up, me and Chris, and we're going to tear her down. Just to clarify, why we pre-clean them is to help so that uh, we can see the damage better when we take pictures with the camera. That looks like a pretty big job, Chris. What do you think? Oh yeah, it's gonna be fun. Yep. <laughs> All right, let's tear it down. All right, I got Chris tearing, getting ready to get this tailgate tearing off. <laughs> He's gonna take the tailgate off, undo the bed bolts so we can pull the bed off. Cause this bed size is gonna be replaced. I'm right here working on this door. I gotta tear the whole door down. Cause it's gotta be replaced. I got the rear door off to one part. Completely gutted. Nothing in it, no more. We don't gotta take that off because it's getting replaced. So now we're gonna move to the front door. Dinner's gonna do this job, yep. Yep. <laughs> he's kicking butt. Next he's gonna get this bed off. Everything he told you already. When he says he's gonna do it, he's gonna do it. This door is all stripped. All right, so I got this door stripped down. That's all I need to do on it is all the rest of the stuff can stay in it because it's not getting replaced. All the handle, the window, mirror. Okay, so Cody's been working on this all morning. He's got it all ready to take this panel off. He's already drilled the backside. He's ground the front. He's gonna cut the seams and he's gonna get that cab corner off. Once the cab corner's off, we'll be able to see what else is going on underneath it, and then he can get the skin off like he said, and then assess the damage underneath. I'm gonna show you what Cody's got finished up. He's got the cab corner all welded in, the rear door hung, and then he's fitting the bedside. The bedside's not on all the way, but what we do is we rebolt the bed back on and make sure that it lines up. Right now it's not lining up, but I'll show you. So Cody's gonna fit up the bedside and make sure that it fits the contour of this cab corner, and then we're gonna pull the bed back off and spot weld it and get all the factory glue and everything back on it and then this thing will be wrapped up hopefully today and in primer hey everybody so what we're doing is we're getting this sanded down prepped so that we can do some primer that's how you do it now i'm going to throw on my mask and throw some primer So got this truck all primed and done. We let it sit and everything. So now I'm gonna go ahead and prep it out and get it ready for paint. All right, Pablo and Chris got this thing all prepped out. I'm gonna show you guys what they've done before we get it all blown off and get it ready to get it put in the booth. They've got the cab corner and the unicide all prepped out. We've got this back door off because we have to paint the jam. Front door's all prepped out. So we've got that all sanded down. We've got the fender all sanded down. Basically, we're doing this entire truck besides one door and one hood. Um, it's a factory peeler, so we're doing the roof, we're doing the back panel. We've got this unicide all prepped out with the rocker panel and the upper A pillar. We've got the back door all ready. Primer's looking feathered out and prepped. Back door's all sanded down with 800. We're ready to get this thing blown off and put inside the booth. All right, we're getting this white bedside painted. I've already sealed it and I put a coat of base on it. I'm painting four different colors in this booth right now. We're just gonna kind of show you a little bit of the final coat of white on the bedside. After the white bedside, I'm gonna paint this tailgate for another job. I've got a front bumper fender and grill for job number three, and job number four is a front bumper cap. It's just kind of chilling in the corner. Got a lot to do. Dinner's swinging the camera. Hello guys, got my space helmet on. So he's helping me tonight, just get some filming done. So let's get to work. We got the pewter done, the black done, the white done. Now we just have this tailgate. And I can't remember the color, but I know it has silver in it and some black and a little bit of blue. It'll be like a secret. We'll just spray it and see what it is. Whatever color it is, we're spraying it. All right, we're gonna start with 8096. We're mixing 28 ounces of this clear. Wow, uh-oh. Got a backup hiding underneath. Hello. How are we doing, everybody? Great. Good. So are you out of here? Yeah. You have a very good night, Chris. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, Chris. Bye, Chris. Now reducer. Hello, hillbilly. 
Oi. Hi, Emily. It's time to blow tack and static everything, and then we're gonna lay down a coat of clear. As usual, it's a big job. We got everything based out and cleared. That's four different collision jobs all painted at one time. So we're being super productive and efficient today. We got the bedside all painted white and cleared. We got the tailgate painted, whatever color it is, silver-ish. Got it all done, it's looking awesome. We're gonna get back out in the shop and get some more stuff done. What up, dinner? Hi. It looks beautiful. Oh, there's the boss. <laughs> Isn't that panel looking pretty? Now, we got a brand new door for it. There is rocker guard on the bottom of the door, so me and Chris are going to throw it on real quick. Okay, so I got my rocker guard done on the bottom of this door. My next step is getting this door sealed. Okay, I got my door all sealed up. Now I'm going to go ahead and clear base the whole truck. I got the base coat all done. I'm gonna go ahead and put two coats of clear on it. We got this white Chevy that's done being painted. We're gonna start assembling it. I'm gonna start right here on the front end. Get the grill headlights in. Now we're gonna work our way to the back. We're moving on to the next one. Okay, and there's the handle one. Okay, now I'm gonna put the tail light in. We're gonna put the bed rail cover on. Okay, I'm gonna snap this roof rail in. Gonna hook up this fuel pocket. Two bolts there and a clip. You gotta tighten the bed bolts. Me and Hillbilly's gonna put this rear bumper on. Now I'm installing the wipers. I gotta work on the interior now. We got the rear window in, and now we're gonna put the interior back. All right, dinner got it all assembled. Cody got all the bodywork finished on it, and I painted the bed, Taylor painted the cab. So this thing was basically a complete, it had hit a pole, and then the customer wanted the rest of it painted because it had factory delamination issues, so we did a bunch of paint work. We got this looking factory again, so let's just take a real quick recap, show you guys what we've done, and then this thing is off to rhino lining. They finally have chemical, so we're going to get a bed liner put in this thing and sent back to the customer. Cody put a new door on it, a new cab corner rocker section, a new bedside, and then we just painted everything to look factory again. Is that a new decal? Yeah. Did you do that? Yeah depending on when this edit drops and if we get the truck back from rhino lining you might get a clean walk around but for now it's the dirty walk around edition basically the only thing that wasn't repainted on this was the tailgate the driver's door and the hood and one bedside so that's quite a bit that didn't get painted and as always we appreciate you guys thanks for watching